Britain Metro TV's Gabriel Lobodai Togbo Ashong is one of the 22 young professionals who this year have been given full scholarship under the prestigious Shivening Scholarship to study for masters in the United Kingdom. At a farewell reception in Accra, the Shivening scholars were challenged to return to Ghana to make Ghana better with the new skills and expertise they would have acquired. More than 50,000 children's scholars' applications were received from 141 countries. Of the 1,506 applications received in Ghana, just 22, including Ebony Noir, were finally selected. And Metro TV's Gabriel Ni Obodai Togwa Ashon is one of the scholarship award recipients. Who watches Metro TV and watches all the community, watch all the community issues? This is the man who goes to the communities to unearth the real problems happening. And for a special shout out, he's going to the University of Sussex. Sorry, you can't blame me. That's my uni. Lots of congratulations. These young legal practitioners, teachers, and health professionals are the recipients of this year's prestigious Children's Scholarship Awards given by the UK government through the Foreign and Commonwealth Office. Neil Budai will be studying Master of Arts in Media Practice for Development and Social Change at the University of Sussex. Having the Shivening Scholarship is a step in the right direction to help better my skills to refine who Budai is so that I come back and then even achieve more for Madagana. So it means a lot to me. I would want to then thank the UK government for giving me this opportunity to Metro TV because I joined Metro TV when I was still at the Institute of Journalism as a student, first as an intern, then as a national service personnel. And when I completed GIJ, they warmly welcomed me. So it's been a learning platform for me. What more can I ask for to have my news editor, Peter Srenye? He's been part of this process since day one. His uncle. Staff Sergeant Akwanan, who spoke on behalf of his family, could not hide his joy. Uh, I'm very excited that uh, Gilbert has had this uh, opportunity to study abroad. And I'm overjoyed. And I also thank God. I thank my mom too. And Metro TV and UK government for this opportunity given him. And like I said, I'm overjoyed. And I wish him all the best as he, um, he will embark on this journey. I pray that he should go and make Ghana proud and all of us and Metro TV. Jaded Gloria Isi Williston is the first person with disability to benefit from the scholarship. Being a person with physical disability and seeing how difficult going to school sometimes was, my aim is to get to know how they um, manage in inclusive education. One of my secondary school teachers told me that I cannot play basketball, imagine. But it wasn't easy trying to prove myself to everyone and I ended up being a dining hall prefect and showing my school and everybody during my time in school that disability is no barrier. That is what I hope to make Ghana, Ghana a place with no barrier, no matter what you've got. Unbelievable. I'm so excited. I words can't just describe how I feel. It's just indescribable. I'll be the voice for the voiceless. Children living with physical disabilities, their conditions, policies governing them. There's opportunity for someone to come out and talk about it so that government can hear their cry and solutions will be implemented so that their lives can change for the better. After my course in LLM in human rights, it will give me more opportunities, more skills, more knowledge, which will impact on my day-to-day -day work. It will give me the opportunity to mentor my junior officers who work under me. It also give me the opportunity to also influence policy within the police and outside the police service as well in the area of human rights. At a farewell reception, the British High Commissioner, Ian Walker, encouraged the scholars to give off their best and return as better persons. In 15 different UK universities, absolutely with the intention of coming back to Ghana, to reinvest in Ghana, 
And, and we do this simply because we really believe in education. We really believe that education is the biggest and best tool any country, any individual can have. And as Ghana is looking to move beyond aid, we remain fully committed to the UK-Ghana partnership and we want these people to succeed and we're trying to help make that happen and in turn make Ghana succeed. Applications for 2019-2020 Chivening Scholarship are open till 6th November 2018.